Permanent magnets wind turbine are typically used in low power. Low cost synchronous generators wind blades or turbine converts the kinetic energy into mechanical energy which drives the permanent magnet alternator through gearbox which increases the torque to alternator shaft for low speed wind. This three-phase stator winding is connected directly to the load. And as these coils are stationary, they do not need to go through large unreliable slip rings. Commutator or carbon brushes. The mechanical force of the blades drives the rotor of the generator. This creates a rotating magnetic flux inside the stator of armature coils. However, there are different types of generators. To simplify, we will first consider a synchronous generator with just four magnetic poles. Permanent magnets cause a magnetic flux. Or alternatively, rotor coils can be excited with a DC power source. This is what the magnetic flux would look like for a four-pole rotor. When an armature coil is wrapped around a rotor, the moving magnetic flux creates an alternating electromagnetic force in the coil. The electrons inside the material are disturbed by the magnetic field and are forced to move in an alternating direction. The displacement of the electrons during a rotation can be plotted in a graph. This creates a sine wave pattern, hence the name alternating current. By adding two more armature coils on a 120 degree angle, a three-phase current can be generated. This is generally used for transporting electric power. The speed of the alternating magnetic flux defines the frequency of the current. So adding more poles and more RPM creates a higher electric frequency. Now let's consider that the armature coils are connected to the three-phase current of a grid. This 50 Hz three-phase alternating current actually creates a rotating magnetic field, like this. The magnetic field of the rotor locks on to this magnetic field. In a synchronous generator, the rotor follows connected to the grid. The shaft will have to turn 1500 RPM. Gearbox turbines use gearboxes to increase the frequency of the rotor shaft. Direct drive turbines use more poles and first, system controls let the turbine speed up before connecting the generator to the grid at just the right time. Grid tied generators require a constant fixed speed to synchronize with the utility grid frequency. We have three phase step up transformer after alternator to increase AC output power to match. Voltage with grid. It is places below the turbine or after the generator for synchronizing with grid. Voltage frequency and phase sequence should be matched. Other type are doubly fed induction generator which we discussed in another video. Remember permanent magnet synchronous generator also used in our brushless exciter system. See this video.